All right, hey, and welcome back to Naptime Builder. Uh, as you can see at the end of the last video, I finally got the Firebird here. Corvette is gone, thank the Lord. But uh, here she is in all her glory, I guess you could say. Probably not. It's a 95 Formula Firebird. It's automatic. Uh, LT1. I mean, it's nothing special. Dad likes the car. He won't see it running again, so we made a deal. And in this video, uh, I guess we're going to be pulling this motor. If you've watched any of my videos by now, then you know that I can only work on stuff during nap times, so it usually takes a few days to get a video's worth or really a whole lot of progress done but i usually make it happen so that's really all that matters but uh i guess everybody says the best way is out the bottom and i've never done it so and i don't have a lift so we'll see how that goes i mean i've seen people do it in their driveways before so why not a unlevel, broken concrete carport, right? Let's <laughs> see what we can get done. Well, it's another hot one here in North Alabama today. And again, we got thunderstorm warnings, so I don't really know how long I'll be able to stay out here and do anything. But uh, I got the rear of the car up on uh, ramps. Took the battery out. I took my little leaf blower and blew some mouse turds and crap around. But uh, the way they talk, I guess my first step other than that is Undoing, or, uh, undoing a kick panel on the passenger side and uh, undoing some electric connections. And then obviously, I, I mean, after that, I need to start draining fluids and I'll, I'll lift the front up. Then I'll start need to, I need to start draining fluids and stuff like that. And then I'll just start taking electrical connections off and Basically anything is tied to the car, obviously, or the body of the car, obviously. But, uh, let's see what we can do here. What's this kick panel in here look like? Oh, uh, squeeze down in here. I got some. Uh -huh. Awesome. Head screws. Don't need to lose those. There's another one right there. Okay, it only goes there. So two more screws. I want to be able to take this kick panel out and get them electrical connections. All right, so here we are. It looks like pretty sure it's talking about. It's just said a couple wire harnesses. Pretty sure it's that white, blue, and gray one right there. These other looks like they goes up in the dash. Apparently, I have to unhook those over there because they will be pulled through the firewall with the rest of everything else when the engine and front end gets pulled. So, let me get those unhooked. All right, I got those unhooked sorry i couldn't i mean it's just a couple of connectors ain't no big deal but i couldn't film while doing it because uh fat boy in this little space right here ain't too hot uh there was a plastic panel right up here i had to undo it to get to that smaller connector right there beside that blue one it was up behind it because it also ran into that loom of wiring there all right i guess next step is to uh 
come around here and in front of it and drain some fluids. I hate that dog. It's a menace. That dog, I swear. If it ain't cars driving by or thunderstorms here lately, it's that daggum dog won't shut up. But uh, he's one of them just gets to run around the neighborhood and do what he wants. Golly. I'm about ready for it to rain. I look like I've been rained on already. But uh, I guess we're about to drain some fluids hopefully it's got fluids in it but uh i'm gonna drain some fluids go on to our next steps i mean the way everything i've seen is uh jack it up undo them connectors on that passenger side behind that kick panel obviously obviously undo the battery that's pretty much everything though and uh or with everything drain the fluids and then start undoing electrical connections and take i think yeah, take, obviously Pretty sure radiator, electric fan, stuff like that needs to come out. Intake tube and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna bore you with all that. Uh, I'll just throw up a time lapse. That way we can. That way you ain't gotta be uh, painfully sitting there just watching me do that crap. So let's go. All right. Well, time cut short. Once again, here we go. Another storm. So, uh, I guess I'm going to get back at this tomorrow during nap time. And, uh, see if I can actually make some progress. So, I didn't have as much time today because I was editing and uploading the last video. So, that, that cut some of my time out. But, uh, I'll get back at this tomorrow. Hopefully I can make some progress there. All right, here we are. Back again, another day, another nap time, right? That's what I got, that's what I work with. So, uh, look at this right here. <laughs> I, got the, I got both the monitors out here with me today because my wife works at home, so she's in a meeting. Well, yesterday, uh, as you seen, I was only able to get like the battery out, the rear end of the car jacked up, and a couple electric connections under the dash before the storm came rolling through. So uh, today we're gonna see if we can make hopefully a lot more progress. So uh, you know, if I can not get stung by wasp and everything. See what we can get done. So, uh, since that last time lapse, uh, I found a couple of screws or a couple of star bolts that I couldn't get to and there was really no way of me trying to film it really. So, uh, but that was the last two and I did get this bumper cover off. I'm about to take this, uh, foam piece and this bracket that's mounted to off. I am taking more off than I probably really have to, but uh, it's mostly because this is completely covered in uh, wasp nest and dirt daubers, dauber nest and all that and all them pieces I'm gonna take out in the yard and hit with a pressure washer, the hose, whatever, try to clean them up some. Because otherwise when it's all put together, I wouldn't really be able to clean, get them that clean and all that crap would still be in there, so. I figure I might as well, since I'm taking part of <laughs> half the front end of the car apart anyways, I might as well take that off and uh, 
hit it with a hose or a scrub brush or something so but i did get the cover off um got a couple more nuts on these to uh get this piece off and then i'll uh i got like one more line or one more transmission line to uh and lower radiator hose to the radiator and then i can pull it out with the fans and then uh, i guess i'll just start undoing anything else that is connected to the body so i just i kind of it's it's extra but i wanted to do that just like i said just to get it semi cleaned up so because it's freaking nasty up in here so i guess let's get back after it with the uh the fiberglass bumper whatever off right there and also went ahead and unhooked my throttle line cables and then all that and uh, a few other hoses i didn't get to earlier that's a whole lot easier to get to with the radiator out uh, a few more connectors that looked like they was connected to the body and wasn't coming loose. Uh, it does look like throttle throttle cable was broke. The little plastic piece that connected it to the bracket. It looked like it was broke. Uh, I'll have to, have to see about that. I guess when I get it all back together. And I don't think I kept those off the cord for that. Which I probably wouldn't have been able to use them anyways. But, uh, yeah, so it's freaking hot and it's time for some water because I'm burning up. I swear, there's a thunderstorm warmer than a few minutes later. Or, or it was thunder and lightning earlier, then like, a little bit later. Now the sun's popped back out and it's freaking miserable and humid as crap. That's that's how summer in North Alabama is. So. I swear I love these. Not sponsored, obviously, but these tub of towels, <laughs> they're a lifesaver. Maybe they need to sponsor me. I'll shout them out. <laughs> but yeah, it helps a lot. I used to use the, uh, oh, the, the white goo, what was it, an orange bucket jug it's just so sloppy and everything and one of these seems to do real well so but uh yeah i mean all my front end goodness over there all the waiting to be washed off and then there's a little bit more room to to work in there now but obviously, like I said, there's, I'm probably gonna make some mistakes. Probably gonna take out a few extra bolts and I'm supposed to because I have no idea what I'm doing because I've never messed with an F body, so. Kinda learning as I go here, so, whatever. But uh, I'm making a little bit of progress. Can't really expect to get too much done in just one nap time, so. Especially since a lot of my nap times here lately have been uh, interrupted by thunderstorms. But there should be a few more uh, connectors and everything that I have to undo. I'm on, I guess I need to do a little research and see really where else I need to be looking because I'm sure there's some stuff that I've not even thought about yet. But, uh,. Any progress is still progress, so I mean, I don't really have a time limit or a deadline or nothing. 
but I would like to get it done as quick as possible. Cause I'd like to get back to my own projects. My, my 65 Jeeps in the backyard right now, just just begging to be put back in here. I mean, so let's see if we can make some more progress. All right, so it took me a minute, but I was finally able to get them uh, two fuel lines loose back there. Um, from everything I've seen, get them loose. And now I need to take the bolt out of the steering shaft. And then I will take the brake master cylinder loose. That way I can get to the shock tower bolts on the driver's side. And after I get those out, I can put the brake master cylinder back on. And then I got two, the two brake lines for the front, front right, or front left and front right. So we're going to go ahead and knock that out. And then uh, see what next steps I have. I think there's a couple plugs to the heater box over here. And uh, I think there's a plug or two over there if I haven't, obviously if I haven't already gotten it out because I, I did already undo a few things. But uh, I'm gonna get those few things done and uh, see, what, see what else we gotta do. So I got the the bolt out of the steering shaft. I don't have it all the way slid off though. It's been a bit of a booger there towards the end. And, uh, but I've got it slid down a pretty good bit. I'll probably try again to get it a little bit further and get it on off. But uh, worst case scenario, hopefully when I lift the body up off of the engine and everything i'm hoping that i can slide that last inch or so off there so that's what i'm hoping but uh i did get that that far i took the master cylinder off and i took the master cylinder off i was having an issue with the the brake lines up there on the master cylinder so i didn't want to like strip them and break them and bend them or whatever so it was easier for me to get the ones off down here. So I went ahead and did that, took that off, got the shock tower bolts and nuts out, put that back on. Um, now it looks like I need to do undo the left front and right front brake lines. And then there was something else. I'm drawing a blank, but I gotta do that. And then I can, I can move on. Um, I probably got about 30 more minutes of today. One of the kids is up. Wife's off work, so she's got her. And uh, Tyler's still sleeping. But uh, she's wanting to go run some errands after he gets up. So I got about 30 more minutes. Then I'm going in to take a quick shower. And then I'll be done for the day. But uh, hopefully tomorrow I can undo the drive shaft. Um, the, what was it called? Transmission. There's a brace in there kind of similar to that Corvette actually, which I'm a little surprised. But uh, undo the drive shaft or take the drive shaft out. Undo that. And hopefully I can... Hopefully there's more progress tomorrow than just uh, undoing some connectors and just a couple bolts. I mean, there's no, you can't really tell no difference right now. But, uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow I can get a lot more knocked out and get this thing closer to being up in the air with 
motor and transmission app. But uh, I'm all under them other two brake lines, do a couple more things, and then we're probably gonna call it a day. So uh, let's see what I can get done in the next few minutes. All right, well, change of plans. Uh, I just remembered that I had this uh, front end stuff over here that was nasty that I was wanting to hose off and everything. So uh, I'm gonna go go ahead and rinse all that off real good and uh, throw it back over here somewhere to hide it, but uh, as much as I can. But uh, I'm gonna go hose all that off and then that's gonna be it for the day. So. Uh, Next thing you see will be me out here tomorrow during another nap time and uh, trying to try to knock some more of this out. I still got to do these two brake lines, the left front and the right front, undo those. And then it said, what I've seen said something about a power wire going under the fuse box or going to the fuse box I haven't found that one yet and it also said there was a ground under the fuse box that I gotta undo didn't see that one yet either I might have already done it and just didn't think about it ahead of time but uh I did undo the PCM connectors over here i've got one that i've got to do down below it did say something about undoing the ac lines but as you can see this right here has been undone for a long time and then one down one down here was actually broke it didn't even have a uh, condenser in the car so that's obviously been out for a good long time so and then it, it talked about undoing these lines going to the accumulator and then removing the accumulator. But this is the only line other than it going back here to the heater box. And with the motor going down, I don't really see why it would have to be removed. Unless it's, I mean, this is going to the heater box, but I'll probably have to undo that. I'll see where that goes down towards the bottom. And then I've got to get under the car. And then I gotta get under the car and undo a couple transmission lines. Um, the automatic shift linkage and drive shaft and that bracket that's going from the drive shaft, or oh, my bad, from the Intella transmission. And then I got under the exhaust also. It's gonna be great, I'm sure. Um, there's not much more after that. But uh, we're gonna see what we can get done during this nap time. I got started a little bit later today. So not really sure how long I'm actually gonna have day Saturday. So uh, I guess uh, let's jump to it. Say what we knock out. All right, so it's definitely not in order of everything that I've been seeing need to do but I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, disconnect Let's see if I can get this uh, disconnect the uh, front part of the exhaust from the rear part of the exhaust I sh surely I shouldn't have to pull the whole exhaust out since it disconnects right here towards the end of the or well past the end of the transmission I believe I should be able to just to uh, disconnect the front portion of it from the rear and leave the rear in the car I'm hoping and then uh, I'll have to take out that cross member right there and I'm probably just going to go ahead and undo the drive shaft and uh, take that bracket right there out 
that bracket it goes from the along the drive shaft there. I believe I'm gonna go ahead and do that now since I'm I mean I'm already under here. And then uh after I do that I'll undo shift linkage and the cooling the transmission cooling lines from the transmission. And I'll check back in and see what's after that I guess. All right, well, un got the drive shaft out. Uh, unbolted that bracket, but I wasn't at them bolts are so daggum long and they're coming in from the top, so I wasn't able to uh, get them all the way out just yet, but the nuts are off of them. Uh, I also, what in the world? Um, I also got that cross, that one cross member off. Uh, undid the front part of the exhaust there's no nuts holding them up there I'm nasty uh, there's no nuts holding them up there anymore to the uh, manifolds but the the little bracket that you bolt that's uh, the flange exhaust flanges are kind of stuck so I'm probably gonna get my pry bar from the top and with my hammer and see if I can knock them on down to get them the rest of the way off. I went ahead and undid my O2 sensor. And uh, hopefully I can get that out of the way. And then I can get to another, a couple of more connectors that I think I need to take off. And I'll probably end up soon dropping the rear end back on the ground, or the rear of the car back on the ground. And I'm hoping I can lift up the rear of the car without the suspension and get them bolts out because I, there's no room for it right now. My car is, the car is being taken over by this bugger here. Look at this. What in the world? He just came out of nowhere. Dude's freaky looking. So yeah, I'm getting overtaken over here. Still got a few wasps in the car I'm trying to stay away from <laughs> until I just have to be where they're at. But uh, but yeah, so uh, that's that's my plan for right now. I'm gonna get my long pry bar from the top and my hammer and see if I can uh, tap those, that front part of the exhaust down, get that out of my way, and then hopefully I can get to some more stuff that uh, I need to get to. And we'll see where we need to go from there. All right, well, I got the exhaust off, the pry bar and the hammer from up top. Definitely worked. Um, also went ahead and got my shift linkage undone. Uh, I think I'm about ready to, well, first I'm gonna lower the front and then I'm gonna take the back off of them ramps and then get all my stuff up closer to the front. That way uh, I'm not gonna lift it up. I'm gonna lift the body off of the motor instead of lowering the engine and transmission down. So, uh, you know, ho hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed that all works out for me. Uh, but uh, I am running a little short on time this evening because it's already like 5.30 and I'm sure the kids are up and uh, probably want daddy to come wrestle or something. So uh, I'm going to get this thing back on the ground, uh, start lifting the front or well, get 
get my stuff ready to lift the front. That'll probably be it for the day. But, uh, yeah, yeah, not, not too much more, hopefully. I'm sure once I start lifting it up from the, the modern transmission that uh, I'm sure there'll be something that I forgot to unhook. And uh, I'll just have to take care of it then, I guess. All right, let's see if we can do this. All right, well, once again, that's it for uh, today's nap time. I got the back lowered back down. Uh, well, I lowered the whole car. And then I uh, chalked the back wheels. I got the front lifted up some. It's got to go up a lot higher, but I was just trying to get an idea how I'm going to do this. Not having a lift or... I even seen some people make their own like gantry crane out of like lumber and stuff and then have it like a come along or something. That's actually a pretty good idea, but it's not my car. I didn't really wanna <laughs> didn't really wanna have to do all that just to get the freaking motor changed. So I don't know. I don't know. It's up some but it probably has to come up like twice as high probably twice as high as it is right now so i guess uh tomorrow after church after we lay the uh kiddos down for a nap i guess we will see if we can come up with something by then so, that's it for today catch y'all in a few seconds for you